the basic technique itself, then we'll go over some different setups, different finishes, and then kind of flow through the whole technique. Hopefully you'll we'll learn something from it. <laughs> technique itself, we start off, we're gonna start off with collar tie, and our opponent's gonna collar tie us. Okay, from here, just going through what the technique looks like, step, step, I'm gonna slide them by, pass them past my head. Collar tie, collar tie, step, step, slide by, catch him here. Collar tie, slide by, catch him here. Let's do it the other side. Step, step, slide it by. Step, step, slide it by. Okay, now to break down the technique, you got a basic idea of what the technique looks like. A couple things that we're looking to do to break it down. First, we have to start off with a good strong collar tie. Okay, once we have the collar tie, I want to control the opposite side hand of my collar tie, that's the hand I'm looking to slide by. Okay, I'm going to take a short step with my back foot, big step with my front foot to get myself in position. From here, I'm going to make a fist with my opposite side hand of the collar tie make a fist, block above his elbow. From here, I'm gonna lean back. Okay, leaning back serves two purposes. One, it shifts his momentum to into me. Two, it's gonna straighten his arm and make it easy to slide by. Okay, from here, I'm gonna turn my head, turn my body, pull his head, slide this arm past my face, and clamp him down. Okay, couple key things to remember. When I'm doing this, I'm not doing a duck under. I'm not going underneath this guy. I'm not level chain lowering my body. That's a different technique, okay? I'm stepping in, my body stays straight, not going under. I say, I emphasize, make it a fist because I don't want to see guys grabbing the elbow or pushing the elbow or like an elbow post or shrug, pushing it by that way, okay? My hand's not an active part, so I say make the fist just so you get the idea that you're not using your hand. I use the top of my wrist and I have to make sure it's above his elbow, okay? The other thing is my elbow that I'm using, that hand, I have to keep that elbow high. If that elbow isn't high, he can pull his arm back. I don't have the control position. Elbow's high. So I step in, step in, body straight, elbow high, make a fist, wrist behind his elbow. Now, I'm gonna lean and pull his head to get his momentum, get his arm straight. Now from here, I'm gonna turn my head, pass his arm all the way in front of my face, and then I clamp down on his, chin, on his neck. Step, make a fist, elbows high, clamp down, lean and pull. Elbow stays high, turn my head, turn my body, slide all the way by, okay? Again, that's why we call it slide by, because I'm sliding his arm, sliding my arm, sliding it by my face. 